We've mastered the game, everyone. And let's, you know, for good measure, let's water spout that motherfucker. <laughs> but we definitely want to make sure that we have enough mana to start deleting fools here. Behold the ultimate power! Welcome back to the Scrapyard guys, Rise Tronic here, and we are back with another first look, 30 minutes or less. And today we're having a look at Riftbound. Riftbound is the explosive, easy to learn, yet uniquely deep lane defense strategy game. Defend against waves of undead by choosing the right mix of defenders, spells, and upgrades from five schools of magic. Plan your best defense, unleash combos, and vanquish enemy bosses. This game is kind of like a strategy tower defense game if that makes sense. If you've ever played Plants vs. Zombies, you'll probably be very familiar with this genre. It's, you know, steals a lot from that game, but has its own unique spin to it where you use different elementals and you unlock them as you go. I had a lot of fun playing the game. You'll find out in a second. Stick around to see how I got out in the game. You know, freezing fools, splashing them with water, electrocuting them, dropping them off bridges and things like that. I hope you really, really enjoy the gameplay. As always, make sure you hit the like down below. Subscribe if you want to see more first look content. If you're looking for other ways you want to support the channel, I'll leave some links down below. Follow me there, click on those links, subscribe, etc. All right, straight to the gameplay and I'll catch you at the end. Bye. So I've already started this campaign. I played the first three missions just to kind of get a feel for what the game is. It's basically plants versus zombies and you progress through, I think there's like 50 story missions, but let's jump straight into the gameplay so I can show what it looks like. But you can see from the beginning here, we've got multiple maps that we're, sorry, multiple regions that we can do. I'm on this fletching time one. We're gonna stick on normal difficulty, but you can pick casual and hard. You know, you can one star, two star, or three star them. You can play with the controller if you like, but I prefer playing with the mouse. So this is our friend, the Great Oak. We're looking to help him, protect him, do something with him. I don't know, he's helping us out. He's teaching us how to play the game. Over there, archers! We must keep them out of range of our elementals. Cast our spell, says the Waterling. Ah, excellent! The Waterlings will teach you the Water Spout spell to help attack the archers. Oh, cool. Cast the Water Spout spell on the Skeleton Arch. So on the top, you have the amount of mana you have to spend, essentially, the 105 number there, that regenerates over time. However, you can make units that create more mana. Again, you'll have the list of spells up here at the top. So we're gonna do the Water Spout spell, and then we'll just, like, pound him with that. Wow! Okay! So that spell actually knocks the unit, uh, this archer, back a little bit. The spell works. You're becoming more powerful. Use your spells to keep the elemental safe during battle. Okay, so I've unlocked a few already. This archer is just gonna sit here by the looks of things. Let's let's put our waterling down. Waterlings are like the most basic of our ranged units. They basically spit out this damage. That archer's not doing anything, so let's leave him where he is. The next thing I want to start getting is aetherlings or etherlings. I hope you guys can see behind me. We're basically trying to protect this crest crystal here. Um, uh, wave one is approaching and in the bottom right hand corner you can see how we're doing in terms of you know how the, how many how fast the waves are approaching and what we can kind of expect as i described earlier on there's the etherling he's producing uh, mana for me and our little wisp here comes along and collects it as we go so i like to create a, a row of etherlings in the back row just so that we can have um, mana regeneration we do actually the great oak actually does give us mana back in time but not fast enough you definitely need to create um etherlings or aetherlings next we want to create another waterling in the bottom row here just to protect against this skeleton so i don't like spending mana i don't like just like dumping uh, stuff out until I see what's coming in front of me. The other thing that we have are what's called stonelings and these guys are basically like a wall unit. They don't actually do any damage but they just have HP that uh, makes it difficult for our enemy to get through. So they're kind of like a defensive line that you can create and they just stall the enemy. And that's basically the sort of gameplay loop as far as I've gotten. So you can see our Wisp is now collecting more mana. I'm gonna speed up the time a little bit just so we can kind of get a move on. I do need a hundred. Now I should get a hundred off this. I can't remember how that, oh yeah, it gives me about 30. Let's put our Waterling down in this row. Okay, so now we've created two archers here, but we definitely wanna make sure that we have enough mana to start deleting fools here. Still not sure how the archer works considering we like blasted him back the last time. Oh, so he can actually, shoot me from range. I suppose that, sh that actually kind of tracks, let's be honest. Oh, uh, I desperately need a watering in that top row. I'm also going to put an etherling in this back row here so we continue to generate lots and lots of... I keep calling it mana. I don't know what it's actually called. Yeah, we're getting we're getting lots of it actually now. So let's just make sure that we're generating mana. Let's get another etherling in the bottom row here so we have five etherlings generating mana for us. Nice. Oh, and this soldier has shown up. He's got a, like an extra layer of armor. So we have to kind of chip down his armor before he takes HP damage. And as you can see the archer is going to like get in behind him now what i might do in a second uh let's just make sure we have enough 
yeah, I think I might put in a little stoneling here just to kind of stall for just to kind of take these guys down. So you can see our stoneling. You can actually like see stats on them, like HP and stuff. So maybe that's something they might add in future updates. Oh, I've just realized that this this arch or this skeleton is getting very close. So you see the stoneling taking damage there. Oh, that waterling's taking an awful lot of damage. A large wave is approaching. Uh, let us. Oh, I don't know what to do here. Let's. Can we can we do like a spell? Nice, we just knocked him back a little bit. Oh, this top row needs, desperately needs somebody else in that row. Also, we could put down, I don't think we need to. I think we've got plenty of dudes dishing out damage. Let's, oh, we don't need to knock him back at all. We've also got plenty of mana, so let's not panic. Just throwing down the waterlings, making sure that nobody gets, nobody gets too close to us. As you can see, it is mission four and I am doing it on normal mode. So let's not pretend like I'm some sort of god at this game. I mean, no one said that, but I mean, you could you could say it if you wanted to. I mean, leave a comment down below if you think, you know, I'm a god at this game. Again, no obligation. Just if, you know, if you were nice and you thought about it. I'm actually gonna blast this guy with water just because I can. I've got plenty of spare mana and it looks like there's nothing going on right now. A huge wave is approaching. So let's, let's just lash out a load of guys have a lot of dudes shooting a lot of stuff. That archer is just going to get deleted. Nice. We are, guys, I can't even pay attention of how much damage we're doing right now. Look at this. Oh, you, Mr. Archer, bugger off. That's it. Okay, so this unknown enemy has been sort of attacking us this whole time. So you taught your underling how to play with water. How cute. I have a few spells of my own. Just you wait. Show yourself, fiend. God, this annoying enemy is giving me nuts. You must continue to grow your knowledge of spells if we were to defeat this mysterious enemy. They can't stay hidden forever. Nice, we unlocked a new spell. Uh, let us crack on. We go to river crossing now. Again, we're just gonna do normal for now. And this is the sort of gameplay loop. You can definitely see, oh wow, this is different. Blast, the enemy has barricaded the other side of the river. Stolings will create a rock path. We must destroy the barricades to push through if we are to reach the rift. Nice bridge, too bad you will never make it across. You are about to be all washed up. River is rising fast. You must hurry and cross before the river floods. Destroy all barriers before the river rises. Prevent the enemy from destroying all lane seals. Okay, so let's get some stuff down. Let's get our etherlings going for now. Wow, this is completely different. What's this? Oh, this is the river rising over here. And then these are all the barriers we have to like destroy over time. Yeah, let's just keep generating mana really quick. Not sure if this is the right strategy. I might just speed up the game as well. Oh, wave one is approaching. Cool. Uh, hopefully we will get some mana soon. Yes, here we go. We get our first waterling down. Hopefully he'll take out that guy pretty quickly. I'll get another etherling down real quick. I actually like playing at this speed for now. Well, well, well things are kind of simple to a certain degree. And we have another soldier coming along here. So we want to make sure that we get a hundred. Yes, nice. And then we'll get another etherling in behind here so we're producing enough so we're, we're slowly chipping away at these barricades down here you can see this one on the right is down to 89 percent already we want to make sure that we have waterlings in all rows i'm getting a hundred in nice okay obviously you have to chew through all the enemy health first before we can uh, effectively oh is there nobody in that row oh there is sorry it just took him forever to kill that skeleton i was wondering what was going on there oh we yes we definitely need somebody in we need two people in this row we also want to make sure that we knock that guy back so oh he's knocked into that row which means we can't do anything about it oh shit oh shit come on give me give me something there's nobody in this row oh nice we actually killed him cool i do actually want to create another etherling because i feel like we need to be producing more of this blue stuff Goddamn right. Nice. Okay, we're, we're, we're doing well. This bottom one is at 57%. We are chipping away nicely at these barriers, which I'm very happy about. Uh, let's not wait around and just, just build out some uh, waterlings really fast. Make sure that we're doing damage in all lanes as much as possible. We've, we have as much mana coming in as we'd like to, so let's not hesitate. Let's just get the waterlings down. We're at 34% water level right now. I think we're doing, I think we're actually doing quite well, team. I think we're doing really, really well. I do enjoy this kind of game every now and again. Do you ever want to just like have a nice time, nice, nice relaxing time, but also kind of be challenged at the same time. You don't have to like press loads of buttons or remember loads of controls and commands. That's how I was feeling when I picked this game to, to showcase to you guys. I was just like, you know what? Plants vs. Zombies was a, such a fun game in its day. And I, and I just wanted to play something like Plants vs. Zombies. Okay, uh, let's make sure we have at least three waterlings in each row. Oh, we've destroyed the first one. I didn't even notice that. We've destroyed the first barrier, which is cool. Um, let's make sure we have waterlings in every row. Now, I probably... Oh, we've destroyed the bottom one now. Excellent. 
when we're very close. We're, we're below 45% on, on the highest one. Stop them, you brittle brain skeletons. Oh, stop them, you brittle brain skeletons. Stop them. Bah, I have to do everything myself. Uh-oh, is there some spells coming, gonna come down? Uh-oh. Oh, the bridge is starting to disappear. Watch out, the enemy is destroying the path. Here, I'll teach you how to recall an elemental to regain some power before they get swept away. Use the recall ability on elemental to recall them, giving you back some energy. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Okay, let's make sure we get the top one being hammered. Okay, we actually don't need to do that. Oh, we lost one already. Oh, no, recall. We got some energy back on those, which is good. Uh, whoops. Let's actually chill out here for a second. We need to make sure it's this one is destroyed. So let's get everybody in here. Recall, I wish it was a hotkey. That would be helpful. Oh, let's make sure we're getting this dude back. Oh man, we're, we are we are slowly... Um... <gasps> Can I blitz some of these guys out of it? It look like it. We are losing dudes to beat the band. But how do they get near us? If Do they just walk off the edge? We need to get through. We've only got like 5% less on this left on this thing. They just, I'm assuming they just fall off. That's cool, right? Nice. So realistically, he's at, while he while I'm winning, he's actually hampering his own attack as well. We've destroyed the barricades. Quickly finish off all remaining enemies that we can cross. Nice. Oh, look at this dude. Just, <laughs> I don't think we actually have to do anything. Okay, so we moved him into that lane, which is fine. Huge wave is approaching. Let's just make sure we have enough dudes. I mean, I actually don't think I need to do anything because they'll just fall off. Except for these two lanes, they're just going to fall off. Like, look at this bottom lane. It's got like six dudes blasting away. And then they just fall off anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Cool. We've mastered the game, everyone. And let's, you know, for good measure, let's water spout that motherfucker. <laughs> Sorry, guys. You ain't got a chance. Uh, let's just keep water blasting, fools. Look, it just... Yeah. We're at 64% water and... Has it stopped rising? No, it hasn't stopped rising. You were lucky this time, but there's still more river cross. Wouldn't want you to fall in now. <laughs> Ignore that annoying buzzard and let's hurry. This water is too chilly for my old roots. Nice. I like how the challenge is kind of ramped up a little bit. Your journey ends here, tree man. You and your apprentice are about to be washed away. Again? You're using the washed away jokes. You know, get some new lines. You you there. Stay here and make sure they don't try any tricks. I have other business to attend to. Ah, yes. The old enemy. You you over there. You delegate. You you take you take on this challenge. Huh? At least he is gone, but we must think of something. All right. So... Water freezing. The waterlings are so smart. You're right, the river is freezing over. Oh, that is cool. Frost elementals have come to help. Quickly protect them while we fight off the remaining enemies. Uh, okay, let's get an etherling down. What are these guys doing? We have to protect them. Oh, there's like a thing in the top left-hand corner there. Yeah, there was definitely a little... Uh... Oh, they actually attack. Nice. I wonder, do they necessarily need to be looked after? Or can I just keep generating, generating mana? Like, how much damage do they do? Do they just slow or do they actually damage? No, they actually slow as well. Cool. Okay, let's let's get a let's get a dude let's get a waterling in behind here because it looks like get some armored dudes and now oh, actually i can afford an etherling as well so let's make sure we're producing mana let's speed up the game a little bit while we're in this early sort of phase and it looks like the oh this this guy is actually getting well in close it looks like the mana or the the ice well, well i suppose it makes sense it looks like the guys are actually slowing them well down so they're preventing them getting too close by the looks of things which i like Okay, make sure you get blasted and see if we can get another waterling in soon. There you go. We'll get an etherling in behind as well. So we have five etherlings producing all the mana in the world. So now we're really only limited by cooldowns, which I sort of found in the last battle. We were just kind of limited by the time it took us. Uh, let's make sure we get a guy in here. Oh, this might be a, a rough one. Let's actually water spout him because, yeah, don't want to have to deal with you yet, pal. And let's get a dude in there as well while we're at it. So I think we're doing pretty well, everyone. Let's speed it up. Let's make sure we could always... Hey, stop hitting my... Yeah, you're a little bit far forward. Why didn't you die quicker than that? Wow, we absolutely destroyed those guys. Yeah, look how slow they move. The, the frost elementals really slow the enemy down. You can see them when they just entered the screen, how fast they are, and then all of a sudden they're like not even bothering us. I'm gonna make some more aetherlings. I feel like we're in a good spot right now. We'll just make sure we get enough waterlings there. I'm not gonna hold back. I'm just gonna put them wherever I think I can get them because realistically, I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. Large wave is approaching. Uh, let's just slow it down a little bit and we'll make sure that we've got a waterling, you know. See the way this guy is definitely moving faster. 
definitely be in chunk. Okay, so we've got at least three enemies in, or three combatants, whatever you want to call them, elementals in each of the lanes right now. So we're doing good, we're doing good. Let's make sure we get a, we'll try and get a fourth, potentially. Don't like how that archer is chipping away at that. We'll be okay. Again, let's make sure we get loads in every single. And what I also might start doing is put some stonelings in if I can. Yeah, we are getting really aggressive, but I suppose we want to protect the frost elementals, I think is, is the end goal here. Wow, we are absolutely uh, yeah, embarrassing these guys right now. I'm almost confident enough to speed all the way up. Let's let's get one in front here. Let's speed all the way up, shall we? Nice, a huge wave is approaching. So what? Final wave. Let's let's maybe just hold on to our. Uh, oh, didn't realize we could go in there. And then let's just. Yeah, these guys don't actually stand a chance. Let's blitz you back a bit. I can because I've got the, I've got all the mana I need. Uh, as I said, it's just cooldowns now is the problem. Yeah, like these guys don't absolutely. St <laughs> Deleted. Victory. Thank you, Frost Elementals. We could use your help in fighting the enemy. We can. The enemy has been capturing Frost Elementals and they will only join us once you help free them. The Frozen Lake is nearby. We should help them quickly before continuing our journey. Nice. I like it. I like it. The Frost Elementals are trapped and defenseless. We must protect them. To battle. Wait, how do we break the... Oh, they're, they're trapped? Wait, we just... Oh, maybe maybe those guys were free and now we're trying to help out their pals? Is that what's going on? I know. You really, you really think I would be paying attention. All right, let's start generating some mana back oh, we're at 60 already is there like a timer as to show when the uh wave one is approaching let's let's get a guy in here uh i'm trying to figure out is there a timer where it shows where the great oak is going to drop in a thing it, like you see the way it regenerates itself i'm just curious to know like outside of the etherling generating mana is there a timer i think you understand what i'm trying to say here we do get random mana from the great oak not just from the etherlings and i'd love to know when when the great oaks mana is going to show up there's also little elemental effects. You can see, um, oh, let's make sure we kill that guy. You can see at the bottom of these guys' health bar that they have certain, like the little water droplet at the bottom of this guy's health bar down here. So you can rest, you know, there must be some sort of combo you can do with like water effects. Oh, I'm actually gonna take this opportunity to uh, generate more mana while we can. Uh, we'll speed up time a little bit. Uh, we'll actually get another etherling. I think I was a bit slow on the etherling creation there. Uh, and then we will make sure that... Oh, was there no waterling in this road the whole time? And I just somehow managed to not see it? And the enemy didn't either? Cool. I'm gonna put waterling back here for now. I think we have enough etherlings creating mana for now. Behold the ultimate power! Awesome. All right. Let's speed up the time a little bit. Large wave is approaching. Let's just not hesitate and just get guys out. Four seconds on the... Let's make sure we've got it. We've got at least two. No, we've only got one in this row, so we got to be careful here. Let's make sure we get a second one, and we'll work on getting a third in each row now as well. A frost elemental has fallen. If they all fall in battle, we will be lost. Oh, where? Oh, that guy. I was like, okay, we need to be careful, everybody. We need to be careful. Uh, we've got two in that row. Let's put a third just in front so that waterling can take the damage. We don't have to worry about that. Uh, let's put you... Oh, we need a third waterling in there, definitely. Actually, let's blitz you out of it so that you don't get too close. I, have, I keep forgetting I have that uh, water spout ability, which is super powerful. And then let's make sure we get three waterlings in every row. Should be golden then. Yeah, one, two. So this is the only row here that hasn't got three, so we should be okay. Stop shooting my things. Oh, no, we lost that waterling. Uh-oh. I don't know what... I oh, we can actually just build him right on top of the enemy? Cool. Uh, let's make sure... Oh, this is the final wave. Right, so we need to be careful here. Mm, I think we're okay, actually. We've got... Yeah, we've got three in each row. Even get a fourth one over here. Let's make sure that the skeletons are taking damage. I could build a stoneling, but I really don't want to waste mana on stonelings, if I'm honest. Yeah, like if I... Oh, yeah, so he stands right there. Freedom! You have saved them. The frost elementals are grateful and will follow you into battle. Unlocked frost enemy elementals. Cool. This needs to stop. Now. All right. I think that's a pretty good idea as to what this game is about. As always, if you like these kinds of videos, please hit that like button, subscribe, do all the things, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.